morning, my loves. So, yesterday was a bit of a write-off because both hubby and I weren't feeling that well. Not sure if it's something we ate, but you know, if we are coming to a different country, we want to try everything. I don't know, I think maybe we're just very tired. But I'm so glad today is beautiful weather. And so we are heading to the Nash Mart. That translates to snack market. And we are gonna, yeah, just have a look at some of the food and then maybe check out some luxury shops. Definitely some luxury watch shops for hubby. So let's check out the market now. Let's try this. It's cold, it's quite interesting, look. Mm. It's quite sweet, hubby. So yeah, this market also has little clothing shops. Accessories. Hubby's up there, but there's like lots and lots of food. Right, so we definitely got the oysters. Oh my gosh, look how fresh these look. Really meaty. And then this, they said, is dark bread with butter. I don't know why they serve that with oysters, but how interesting. Okay, Halps, go on. Freshly shucked. How is it plain, plain lemon? Really good? You might need some more. Okay, my turn. Guys, those oysters were some of the best oysters we've had. So meaty, not too like briny, that's the word. It was just so delicious. So, highly recommend, what is it called? Uma? Uma fish at the Nash, at the Nash Mart. It's very highly rated, so if you come here, definitely try this seafood restaurant because they specialize in seafood. Anyway, we are heading towards the city center, and then I think we'll come back for some luxury shopping. Obviously building a mega huge Dior store here. Prada's there. I think this is a new style. I don't know what it's called though guys. Smooth leather. Teak mile with the handle. Oh, how cool is this? It's like a case, but it looks like it's for sunglasses. I have never seen that before. Oh look, the Nano Alma. The purple's really cute. And then it comes in orange and green. What do you guys think of this bag? I don't even know the name. But vertical sort of trunk. And then you've got some other ready to wear. Silk, pajama -y inspired. Really don't like this onesie jumpsuit. <laughs> Not a fan of this cardigan either. 800 euro for this t shirt. beautiful exotics not a fan of this one though how cute is this it's like a little box it's a card box I haven't seen this do you like that? It's very cute. If 
you don't want to buy a trunk, you buy a card box. <laughs> And this is the box Scott, I think. Little Vivienne's. So cute. Oh, I like this one. I like this one. It looks like it's hand painted on. But it's just literally a box. Canvas box. Can you undo it? I'm not even sure. But just to let you know, the price of this, what is it called? Cardboard box monogram, 1,240 euro. Haven't seen that in Australia. Electric blue lining. That's pretty, right? I don't know what I would use it for. Some of the shoes. Oh, these silver ones looks, looks quite nice. What would I think of these? These mirrored ones, hubs. These are not bad. They look quite comfortable. Flower little heel. This gives me a bit of Ferragamo vibes, but I like the heel. And then this one with the chain detail. I think I've seen this one before. But this is nice too. What do you think of this? Not enough toe cleavage. which is at the base of the stock exchange so we got the beef carpaccio and this is what soup is it again vichessois which is a cold sort of potato leek soup and we're just having some bread so let's try it mm. it's cold but it's so good very creamy, but yum. Oh, that's a big serving of risotto with truffles. We should have got the entree size. I did not expect this much risotto. I, we should have, because the difference between the risotto, I mean the main and the entree was three euros. So of course you go large, right? But this is a huge serving. I love the fresh truffles. Oh gosh, I can smell it. The risotto is so... Oh, done. Yeah. Okay, we are so full from lunch, but we're gonna go check out this watch shop. Okay, let's go in. So, Harbi really just wants to check out the German watches. Nomos, is that how you say it? Nomos Glashute? Glashute? Made in Germany. I don't know these brands at all. Max Bill. Have you heard of this brand? Max Bill by. I don't know. Jun Hans. Union? Alright. Let's go have a look. So this is a Lacko. Lacko. This is a German Flieger. German Flieger, yes. This is with the, with the bright. This is with the dark. This is Taumuster A, A and P. Yes. Mm. This is a type A and the other is a type B. Yes. What does that mean? I mean, this is a short hour hand. Oh. This is for the navigator yeah. and this one is for the pilot. Oh, okay. But it's very, very nice. This so what is this called? This is a Mido, I think it's a... It's Ocean Star decompression. Yes. Ocean Star, that's great. And this one, I just like the colors because it reminds me of Hawaii. It does look like Hawaii. I like how all around the bezel, it's got all the different like countries like Bangkok and lots of LA and all that. It's for a diver that you know would come up from the sea. It does look very complicated though. It's not. It's a, um, 
Uh, like a vintage watch, so this kind of watch of, uh, from the 60s. Mm. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is a Nomos from Glasuta. It's Glasuta? a neonatic. Don't really have these in Australia. I've heard of Nomos before, though. You've mentioned it. I've mentioned it. Yeah. This one's a bit small for me, I think. But what is this? Is this 36? This one is 35 mm. Oh, 35. So this one's another neomatic, but it's got the date on the outside. You can see the red pips there. Mm. And mm. that moves with the days of the week. So if I wish well, uh, the, the month, you see? The month, yeah. Okay. Oh, days you of the see? month, yeah, not days of yes, the week. You see? Oh, no, days of the month. It starts the month, you see on this red, it starts. Yes. And here, the half month is over. Ah. And that's Alright, another shop. Um, you Makare, maybe? <laughs> Not sure. Let's go have a look. So, this is a Zin watch. This is a U50. It's got a slightly different dial. What's the dial made of? It's uh, steel and then they throw it in into a, like a rope with, oh. with stones. Oh. And it's tumbled and then tumbled. you get this uh, wall out finish. Oh. And then afterwards they print it. They print it. Okay, so this is a Zim EZM. I can't pronounce it in German. Yeah, it's mine. So how do you say it? Yeah. How do you say it? You said it's uh, I like the first one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Austrian it's an Austrian brand, Austrian. yeah, and it's a husband and wife team. And they only make 250 models a year. I don't know. 250 yeah. production a year. So this is the Felix. Yeah. Yeah, Felix. And what color dials do they usually come in? It's multiple. There's a green one, a blue one, then you have just a classic silver one like this one, with stick markers, or one with a red one like this one. And this one's the exhibition table with this bag. So That's quite interesting. Their movements themselves. Do they? Ah, yeah. oh, how interesting. This is actually quite interesting. I didn't think I would like it, but when you wear it on the wrist, it looks a lot better on. This is a smaller, like 38. That's 38. Mm. Nice. Interesting. This is So this is. Mono pusher? Mono pusher, one pusher, yeah. Ah, mono pusher. And this is a chronograph. It's got more of a black and white panda. Orientation. It really looks like a panda. I didn't realize the watches are smaller. Yeah. Right. I didn't realize. So this is 38. It's mid to under 39, so it's yeah. 38.5. It's the size that most people can wear. Mm -hmm. Is Harbring popular in Austria? Yeah, in terms of the micro brands, it's obviously the most popular. The most popular. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why did they discontinue it? Uh, there's so, Sin bought the rights to the Navi Temple from Breitling officially, and there have been rumors that Breitling now brought it back. Hmm. It so looks like a Navi Temple. Yeah, it's the same concept. So, he bought the rights to produce the watch because back in Breitling got bankrupt in the box crisis. And so, he produced a Navi Temple that was a bit more robust and waterproof. See? Zin? Right oh my gosh, it's so similar. Yeah. It's very Italian. Very Italian. So I like flamboyant. You, right? you want to <laughs> you want other people to see the watch. It is quite big. So how big is this case? It is uh, 44 mm. Wow, it actually wears smaller than a 44. Usually 44 looks humongo on you. Yeah. You never usually went bigger than 40 and then at least you've gone to like 42 now. I mean this is like 44. So this is the one that's in Australia, it's pretty hard to find, mm. don't see them. See, rose gold does suit your skin tone too. I like very much the combination. Yeah. Mm. Looks better on, actually. I think this one looks better on the rubber than the bracelet. It's very nice. It's very nice. This is 
I'm here, I might as well try the full pie by then. Yeah, of course. Is that alright? Yeah, of course. How's that? Nice. You want a little bit a of little movement? A little bit of movement, yeah. Otherwise, you get those nasty tan lines. Right. <laughs> hey guys, so we have had a great day today, mainly eating. And then I went to check out Bulgari. Just a couple of pictures there for you guys. I checked out the Serpenti range which was you know nice I'm still considering it but yeah Bulgari uh, is more expensive in Europe than in Australia I never realized that so definitely not worth it to buy it here might as well just buy it back home but yeah it's around dinner time we're not sure what we're gonna do for dinner yet but it's just been such a beautiful day and I think the best thing about today was the food we ate, right Hubs? Yeah, and also we went luxury shopping, watch shopping for hubby though. He didn't see anything that he loved, loved. I think the nicest was the Jeje Lukut, but that was like 38,000 euros. So hubby was like, I need to think, I need to think about that. Anyway, I'm gonna say bye for now. Uh, not sure we're gonna go out for dinner or we may just have to pack because yeah, last day today. So I will talk to you guys soon. Hi my loves! Okay, so we're on the plane now, about to head home. Sorry, when we were at the airport, it was a mad rush because we had to do our VAT, our refund and everything. So Hubby and I had a great time. We've never been to these places. Unfortunately, there were a couple of days we weren't that well, but still very thankful that we got to come on this trip and see new countries taste new food so if you enjoy my travel vlogs give this video a thumbs up yeah I just can't wait to travel more hubby and I have really really we think like travel is luxury I'd actually love to do more travel anyway I hope you enjoyed seeing all the three cities with me seeing the beautiful sights that was my favorite part a little bit of luxury shopping and of course the delicious food food is always a top priority for us so thank you all so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys!